This is Gene Key, SkySurf News. The Associated Press reports police are investigating the brutal mass attack of Derek Matrigal of Dallas while vacationing Saturday at South Padre Island to celebrate his 21st birthday. Madrigal was beaten and stabbed at least nine times by as many as 10 people while on the beach with friends during spring break. After two surgeries, he is recovering in the ICU of the Harlington Hospital. In addition to his wounds, Madrigal also suffered a collapsed lung. Video captured the incident and showing people stomping on Madrigal and pounding him with coolers repeatedly after he had already been stabbed a dozen times in broad daylight. Madrigal's older brother said he was trying to defend a woman, a fellow colleague student from Dallas, from a guy who became aggressive after she refused to dance with him. Only one suspect in the case has been identified and charged, 33-year-old Michael J. Rangel of San Antonio. Rangel has a previous criminal record involving domestic violence. WFAA.com reports, Noria Pendras, the top agent in Dallas for the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement, has resigned under a cloud of controversy. Reportedly, her department is under investigation for possible mishandling cash belonging to immigration detainees. Sources say the oversight of ICE Director Nori Pandras may be one of the questions raised in that investigation. Last year, her office was responsible for removing 16,000 illegal immigrants from the country. ICE says Pendris is currently on leave and will not return. KHOU reports, Police confiscated almost $7 million worth of counterfeit purses in a raid at two businesses in southwest Houston Wednesday afternoon. The raids happened in the 9,800 block of Harwin and the 5,800 block of Corporate. The Houston Police Department Major Offenses Division and ICE worked together to recover the illegal merchandise. From the outside, one of the businesses looked like a furniture store. But police said what was really inside was part of a million-dollar counterfeit purse selling operation. The purses, which were found in hidden rooms, had fake tags resembling high-end brands like Gucci, Prada, and Coach. Police said that sellers were very cautious and would only invite select customers into the back rooms to view the purses. Three men were charged with engaging in organized criminal activity. If you would like the latest Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow on YouTube. Simply search Sky Serve News or Gene Key. You can also follow me on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, Sky Serve News.